Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be yet another cash stuffing. I'm super excited for this video because we are introducing sinking cleanse and I also have my new planner from Plum Paper as well as some stickers from The Planning Dancer. Um, before we get started, yes, I am trying a new angle today. Let me know how you guys like it or maybe don't like it in the comments down below so I know what to do for next week. Um, and just in case I get questions, I do have press-ons um, on today. They are from Custom Nails by Joy. I will link her down below as well as put her username on the screen for you all. She is my sister-in-law. I love her and she made these nails as well as my graduation set. And of course, they are Disney themed and I'm literally obsessed. So definitely reach out to her if you're interested in a pair of custom press-ons. But we are going to get started with stuffing these envelopes because it is going to be a pretty lengthy video today, which I'm actually super excited for. So we should have $650 here and that is with the $4 for my $1 challenge. So let's just get started in counting. We have 100, 200, 250, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 600. And we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So we have 600 and fifty dollars for today's video i am super excited because this feels most like an old cash stuffing than i've recently done and i'm very very excited about that so we are going to get started with our cash envelopes so in the meantime i'm just going to go ahead and move all these other binders off to this side okay so i have my little wallet right here where i keep my cash envelopes and i do just use some mini ones um for the sake of Con not consistency convenience because my wallet is small but gas is going to get fifty dollars which is going to be two twenties and then two fives so we have twenty forty forty five and fifty dollars for gas I'm super excited to be back to paper and pen budgeting I do really like using my iPad but I just feel like it was always a hassle to like make sure that it was charged um, because I'm I honestly struggle with just charging my phone like I forget about that pretty often So food is also going to get 50 and I did that in two twenties and a 10 So we have $50 for food Honestly, we've been spending our food money like crazy at pluckers. I literally love pluckers If you like them, let me know down below if you've never tried them also Let me know that down below because I love their spicy lemon pepper. That is probably my favorite flavor. So fun is going to get $50 as well. So we have 20, 40, and 50. We've been going to the movies a lot recently, which I mentioned um, last week. So a lot of our fun money has been going to fund like snacks at the theater. So there is $50 in fun and that is going to be all of my cash envelopes stuffed. So it's super easy, we just do 50 down the line and I'm struggling to pick that up. Okay, so I'm gonna put those off to the side and now we're gonna go ahead and get started with my bills. Okay, so since I last saw you, I did add a couple of bills um, because as I mentioned a while ago, I was struggling a little bit with my credit cards and stuff and please do not come for me. I have owned up to all of that and I'm on my journey to get better. So that's what matters. And if you guys are struggling in that area, join the journey with me. So I did enroll in settlements and like payment plans for a couple of these different um, companies. So that is why there are additional bills that were not here before. So Best Buy is going to get $40 today, which I did in 220s. And I believe that that's all it has. So $40 for Best Buy. I do plan to do, I believe it's technically debt snowball um, with these. So when one debt gets paid off, I'm gonna roll over that amount to the next card until that one is paid off and then like continue. So there's Best Buy. Car payment is going to be getting skipped today because I am ahead by a week. So we have 50, uh, 60, and then 65 in car payment. So it will be getting stuffed next week, but I am good for this week so 65 in there just to keep a balance Citibank will be getting 56 and this should fully fund it for this month so we have 50 55 and 56 so let's go ahead and add that to this okay so my city credit card now has 50 100 
um, 105, 110, 111, and 112. So perfect, $112 for Citibank. So I have to just look at when that's due and then I will deposit this um, that same week so that it's there and ready to come out. So next is going to be Discover. Discover is gonna get $15. So let's go ahead and stuff this one. I'm obsessed with like the paper pattern that I have for Discover. I think it is literally so cute. Okay, so Discover now has 10, 20, 25, and 30. So we are halfway there. Um, I did just pay it for the month of August. So now this will be for September. Okay, so there is Discover. So next is going to be my phone bill. That one is going to get $25. So let's just go ahead and grab that. Um, and yeah, it is currently empty. I did have a 10 in there last week. Um, but I went ahead and used that to just pay like the extra for last month. So there is 25. Okay. So rent is going to get skipped. That one should only have $10, I believe. And then next is going to be subscriptions. This one is getting 10. Oh my God. My pen almost rolled off. Okay. So $10 for subscriptions. So we have 10, 20, and then $25, which honestly is pretty good um, considering this is the first week of August. So my subscriptions will for sure be covered by the end of the month. Vetco is going to get $10. I don't know if I'm actually going to enroll her. I think I talked to you guys about it um, a while ago. I might just be using this for her preventative, her Simperica Trio. So there is $20 in Vetco. And then... Um, debt is going to be for Upstart. I couldn't find my old Upstart envelope, so we're just going to use this one that says debt. I know it doesn't match, and I know it's the only one that is not a zipper envelope, but it's fine. So Upstart is going to be getting $30 today. So let's go ahead and put that in here. Okay, so we have $30 in there, and that is going to be all for my bills. So I have, like, quite a few, um but honestly, it's fine. It's a lot of debt. So hopefully once we pay those off, I will be able to breathe a little bit and I'll have like a lot more wiggle room um, per paycheck once those are taken care of. So next we're gonna go into my sinking funds, which this is the first time you guys are seeing this binder and I am super excited for it. I don't remember who I bought the labels from, um, but yeah, I got the binder on Amazon and it came with the budgeting sheets, which I don't know if I'm going to use them like on camera or if that's something I'll do off camera, but car maintenance is going to be getting $50. So I'm just going to go ahead and stuff that in here. So $50 for car maintenance. So let's just add that. I should have links for this in my description below if you guys are interested in purchasing a similar one. Um, but yeah, so Christmas is going to stay at zero and we're going to skip to gifts. So I do have some birthdays coming up on August 11th. It is my siblings, they're twins. And so I'm going to put $20 towards that this week um, and then probably a little bit more next week and we'll see what I decide to do for that. But they are going to get $20 for gifts. Okay, so now we're gonna go to personal. So personal is getting $200. I know that's like kind of a lot, but I am getting um, tattoos tomorrow. I've had this appointment for like a month now, or probably honestly like two months. And I'm really, really excited. So I'm taking $200, and that is for both tattoos as well as the tip. So there's 200 in there. That's also like another expense that won't be happening every single week. So that's $200 that was like taken away from my wiggle room, if you will. So pets is going to be getting $20. Um, I'm gonna use this for like their food and any toys and stuff like that. So they have $20. So it's just Wanda, Vision, and then I do have a fish tank. Um, so that's really exciting. Travel is going to be getting skipped, but I do have a Disney gift card in there. So I'm gonna start doing like the savings challenge where every time you go into like a Target or somewhere that sells a Disney gift card, you have to buy one. So I purchased a $25 gift card and then I was able to get a $50 gift card through Shopkick. And so I was able to transfer that amount to here and that gift card now has $75. I am super excited for this. Disney is like my goal trip. <laughs> So I am just really excited. Um, but yeah, so travel technically has zero, but there's 75 on the gift card. So health is going to be getting $10. I plan to use this for co-pays. I think I'm going to try to maintain a balance of $80 in here. Um, so right now we just have 10, but we'll get there. 
So next is going to be my savings binder. That is all for sinking funds. Okay, so let's bring this over here. So in here, we're gonna be stuffing Amanda's, Jordan's, and then the $1 challenge. So we'll come back to this one, but Jordan's is going to be getting $5 today. So let's see what he now has. So we have five, 10, 15, and $20, which is awesome. So mine should also have the same um, when we stuff it, but we can double check. So what was that? Hobbies is zero and then five. Okay, so I'm also getting $5 in my envelope. Again, I still don't know what these are gonna be used for. I am anticipating it just being like a cash savings. So we have five, 10, 15, and 20 into Amanda's. Oh, I wrote the wrong amount there. Okay, that's fine. I'll just, uh, I have white out, but I was like, I could have just done this off camera, but it's okay. So $20 in there. So now for the $1 challenge, we will be adding $4 today. So we have one, two, three, and four. So I know it probably gets repetitive, but I like to count this every time just because I genuinely get shocked. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have $48 in our dollar savings challenge, which is honestly crazy. My goal for the month of August is to at least hit $60, which I think we will do. So there's $48 in there, which is perfect. So with that being said, you guys, that is everything for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Definitely check out this, the description because I will have links to products that I used um, as well as anything I kind of talked about, like my nails per se in this video. Um, so definitely check down there if you're interested in a set for yourself. But I love you guys all. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.